Guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. Uh, guys, a fight that I really want to see. And a fight that I think um, should happen. Um, and I've said that these, this is the only fight that I would accept for Terence Crawford. Um, if it's not Pacquiao or Spence. And that's Keith One Time Thurman. Listen, I want to see him fight Keith One Thur Time Thurman. I think Keith Thurman is a um, great fighter. Keith Thurman's gone missing of late, last last one or two years. Uh, yeah, he fought Pacquiao, lost. Uh, but he, for me, I've said this about Keith Thurman. I think he's become more of a businessman uh, than he was early on in his career. And listen, everyone early on in their career is as a fighter. They want the tough fights, they want the challenges. It's not about. It's not all about the money. As you get older, you get wiser. Um, you feel you're more vulnerable. You see, you're, you feel you're, you see yourself more as a civilian. You start becoming more of a businessman, looking, picking your fights. Uh, I want to see that hungry, determined Keith Thurman back. Now we saw a few videos he put up, you know, showing his working out and him sweating on the on the cross trainer. But we need to see Keith Thurman. We need to see that hunger back. The Terence Crawford fight is a fight that he should be he should be shutting the door down for that fight. That's a huge. That's a huge fight. It's a. It's a good payday for him. Listen, let's be realistic. If he comes to the table, asks for four, three to five million dollars, that fight can be made. You know, him asking for crazy money, ten million dollars is stupid. Even Crawford doesn't get paid that much. He doesn't get five. He doesn't get ten million. So how's, how are they going to pay Keith Thurman that? That's silly money. Come to the table asking for realistic money, and that fight is a fight that all of the fight fans would love to see. I want to see Keith Thurman v Terence Bud Crawford. That's a fight that we'll all love to watch. That's a fight that we'll all be interested in. And Keith Thurman's got to be sensible with his numbers. And we've got a great fight potentially. But Keith Thurman is more interested in Errol Spence. He's more interested in Manny, Man a rematch with Pacquiao. But I don't hear him calling out Terence Crawford's name. Now, he was offered the fight and apparently he wanted $10 million, which is ridiculous money. Uh, be realistic, come to the table and have that fight. Listen, I want to see you fight Terence Crawford. Terence Crawford has mentioned that out of the four names he wants, Pacquiao, Spence, Thurman, Garcia, Thurman is one of them. So, and listen, no one can say anything if he beats Keith Thurman. That's a legit guy in many people's eyes. That's, listen, that's a great fight. That's a great fight. Make it happen. Make that fight happen. I want to see Keith Thurman v Terence Bud Crawford. That's the only fight I'll, I'm willing to accept, apart from Spence or, or Pacquiao, which I don't think is going to happen. Terence Crawford needs a backup option, and Keith Thurman is a great backup option. He's a great fighter. He makes for a great fight. Keith Thurman's got a great style. He's vulnerable, yes, to the body. He can be hurt. We've seen that in his, in his fights. But he's also a great fighter, and he possesses very good offense. You know, he's fast of hands. He's got quick feet. He's a good boxer. He's a big puncher. You know, he's definitely capable of hurting Terence Crawford, but we all know his vulnerabilities are there. That's what makes for a great fight, you know, and I, I think it's a great, great fight. I think it's a step up from Amir Khan and Kel Brook. Um, Keith Thurman's a, a great fighter. We know that. He's got a great resume, um, you know, we, and I don't think he's as past it as Khan and Brook were. So I do think that I do think it's a big step up. I do think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a step up from that. And if Crawford gets rid of Thurman, then, whoa, we might just be looking at the best welterweight in the world. I think he's one of the best welterweights now, but I think if he dispatches Thurman in emphatic fashion, then we're definitely looking at one of the, the best welterweight in the world, if he can do Thurman. That, that, that would be a signature win, as far as I'm concerned. Keith Thurman would be a signature win for Terence Bud Crawford. And I think that's a fight. Terence Crawford knows that Keith Thurman's not, he's not, he's not got a fight. Keith Thurman's not got anything ahead. This would be an opportunity for Keith Thurman to win a world title against Terence Crawford. Now, Keith Thurman is currently not a world champion in the world to weight division. He's just a contender. Uh, so that would be a great opportunity and a good money for Thurman, right, to fight someone like uh, Terence Crawford. And it's a fight that I'm pretty sure Keith Thurman feels he can win, right? Keith Thurman said that, you know what, Terence Crawford hasn't fought le a legitimate world to weight. He's, he's fought Amir Khan, right, who once was talked about fight, fighting, having a fight with Keith Thurman, let's be honest, you know, Amit, Keith Thurman was chasing Amit Khan at one point in Keith Thurman's career, um, and also he's beaten Kel Brook, who was a former welterweight world champion, uh, who's a big welterweight, right, and, and Terence Crawford dispatched of him in emphatic fashion, 
So, you know, I don't think Keith Thurman has, can say anything, anything about Terence Crawford now. I think Keith Thurman has to say that Terence Crawford is legit. And I think Keith Thurman has to now take note of this welterweight. He's a welterweight world champion. He's, had, he's, he's got some good wins at welterweight now. And Keith Thurman is the next, in my opinion, the next fight. If the Pacquiao Spence fights can't happen. Listen, Keith Thurman's a great fight. And Terence Crawford will, will take that fight in a heartbeat. He wants to fight Keith Thurman. He's openly said that the four names I want to fight and then I might retire are Pacquiao, Spence, Thurman and Garcia. That's the names he wants. That's who he wants to fight. That's who he wants to fight. So let, let's not beat around the bush. Let, 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 you know, Keith Thurman, I know he has a lot to say, but Keith Thurman knows, knows that this is a tough fight with Terence Crawford. He knows what Terence Crawford possesses. Also, it makes a lot of sense for Keith Thurman financially and he's for a world title. Now, Keith Thurman, who's he going to fight? Is he going to look to fight, you know, you know, is he going to look to, um, you know, wait till Manny Pacquiao gets stripped from the w, with the WBA, from the WBA and then fight that fight against Ugas? And that's no gimme fight for Keith Thurman. Ugas is a great fighter. Ugas could beat Keith Thurman. Why not jump in there with Terence Crawford against the best pound for pound fighter in the world? Get paid more than you would do against that you than you would do fighting Ugas. Also, you're fighting the best pound for pound fighter in the world. You're fighting for a world title. You have more on the line. It's it's a great fight. It's a great fight. Keith Thurman now. A lot of people think Keith Thurman's getting past it. So it's an opportunity for Keith Thurman to prove people wrong and say, you know what, I'm still here. I'm not past it. I'm still a live dog in this welterweight division. I'm the man. I was the unified champion at one point. I was in Spence's position at one point. You know, let's not forget, Keith Thurman became a unified champion, right? How many title defenses did Keith Thurman have? How many? He became a unified champion, beat Danny Garcia, then got stripped. I believe of the WBC belt, then fought Jose Cito Lopez, and then lost to Manny Pacquiao. He's had one title, one title defense. Or he, as a unified champion, he had no title defenses. So let's be real. Let's be real. Keith Thurman, you know, of late, he's not done a lot. He's not done a lot at all. You know, he's got a loss against Pacquiao. He looked terrible against Josecito Lopez. He could have been knocked out in that fight. Let's not, let's not forget that. So since his, since his uh, win over Danny Garcia, what's he done? He's looked terrible against Lopez. And he got beat by Manny Pacquiao, who everyone was expecting Thurman to beat. So since his comeback after that long layoff, inju after that injury, those injuries he had, he was off out of the ring for about two years. He's not done much. Like I said, he's had a poor performance against Lopez and he got beat by Pacquiao. So it's an opportunity against Terence Crawford for him to prove he's still there. Because Terence Crawford is regarded as one of the best fighters in the world right now. He's up there, pound for pound, number one, two, three. He's in the top five. Keith Thurman isn't in the top ten. Nobody's talking about Keith Thurman like that anymore. And even when Keith Thurman was a unified champion, he was... A fringe level top 10 pound for pound, if that, if he was even in there, you know, so I think, I think Keith Thurman has got a lot to prove and by beating someone like Terence Bud Crawford, it puts him on another level. I do think Crawford's going to be hard to beat right now just because I think he's got the momentum, confidence and he's, he's an exceptional talent. Right. Uh, and he's going to be hard to beat and he's, he's becoming more, more and more mean with it every fight, you know. Um, I, I feel like a fight between him and, and Keith Thurman is a great, great feisty matchup. I do. I think styles make fights. I think stylistically, Keith Thurman's a good boxer, can punch. Uh, you know, defensively, he does get hit. Uh, and he is vulnerable to body shots and his chin is suspect. You know, we've seen that. So, uh, I think it makes for an exciting matchup. I do want to see Terence Crawford v Keith Thurman. Terence Crawford v Keith Thurman is a great fight. He's a great fight. It's a great fight. If the Errol Spence and Manny Pacquiao can't fight, can't happen, right? And Terence Crawford has said that the Errol Spence fight will never happen. Terence Crawford should look to, for a Keith Thurman fight. Look for a Keith Thurman fight. That's a great fight. Great, great fight. 
and one that we'll all watch, we'll all tune into. It's a big fight. It's a lot. It's a step up from Amir Khan and Kell Brook. It is, even though they're both Brits and, you know, it was great to see them both fight Crawford with big hype and everything. I think the Thurman fight would be, would be definitely a guy that's more in his prime than those two. Um, and he possesses danger. You know, he's a big puncher. I feel he's more explosive than Brook. Uh, I feel he's faster than Brook. Um... I feel he's got better feet than Brook, um, so you know I, I don't think he's got I don't think he's got a good a chin, but obviously Brook's chins deserted him as well. So uh, I do feel that. Listen, man, it makes for a great fight. I think it makes for a great fight. It's a great matchup. It's a great American um, showdown, and and it's a fight that Terence Crawford wants. Terence Crawford wants to fight Keith Thurman, so why not have it? Why not make that fight uh, if we can't get Spence or Pacquiao next for Crawford? I, I would love to see that. Keith Thurman v. Terence Burke Crawford is a great fight. Fight, fight Keith Thurman next. It's a great fight. It's a great fight for his legacy. It's a great name to have on his resume, Keith Thurman. That's a great win if he can beat Thurman. It's a great win. You know, I, I, I want to see it. I do. I really want to see it. What do you guys think? Would you guys, are you guys interested in a Keith Thurman v. Terence Crawford fight? Are you guys interested in it? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Guys, make sure to hit that like button. Smash that like button. It really helps my channel. really helps the algorithm. Uh, the more likes I get, it really helps propel my channel. So I really appreciate all your support over the years. Just keep supporting my channel. Keep liking, smashing that like button. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And guys, remember... I'll remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.